Hello and welcome to a new episode of Product Basics. Today I will show you how to assemble an acid-proof padlocking Climaflex handle in a typical insulated door. First I want to tell you about the door. This block will represent your door and these black tapes will symbolize the hinges. Whether you have a left hinge door like this or right hinge door like this, you will need to make two holes in the door for the latch. The big one, the 13 mm in diameter, goes right through the entire door. And the smaller 5 mm diameter hole is an anti-rotational hole that prevents the unit from rotating. This small hole should face the hinge side and only pierces the outer skin. The exact location will depend on your door design and where you want the roller cam to touch the frame on the inside. The installation will be divided in four parts the latch housing, the steel shaft, the cam, and finally, the handle. Starting with the housing, you will need these three parts. The housing, the washer with a padlock loop, and an octagonal hole, the foam gasket. Assemble all parts to create one unit. It is important that the pin is facing the hinge side of the door and the padlock loop is facing down on the door. When this is correct, press the housing assembly into position on the door. If you're lucky, the unit will stay in place. If not, you may want to tape it in position with adhesive tape. This will simplify the assembly. The tape can be removed at a later stage, and when you get used to the assembly, you won't need any tape at all. With the housing assembly in place, move over to the steel shaft. Here you will need six parts. These four are added on the outside area of the door steel shaft, turning limiter, transparent nylon washer, and finally the o-ring. On the inside of the shaft you will need a starlock washer and a cup washer. First, add the steel shaft to the turning limiter. Make sure the small dot or indentation faces the center of the turning limiter. Then add the transparent nylon washer. And finish off by slipping the O-ring over the shaft. Finally, slip the entire shaft assembly through the housing. Now, you will need to place the housing facing down on a hard surface that won't scratch the housing itself. You can use a block of wood or, like here, a piece of smooth plastic. This will be your anvil. Slip the cup washer over the shaft and make sure the collar enters through the door skin. Now, prepare to add the Starlock washer. As a mounting aid, when adding the Starlock, I normally use a piece of metal tubing or rigid plastic tubing that matches the diameter of the Starlock washer. But here I use a 13 mm socket for tightening nuts that happens to fit both the Starlock diameter and has a through hole that slips over the shaft. Double check that the housing is in position, resting in both holes and is tight against the door skin. Then place the Starlock washer on the shaft and it's important that the jagged side of the Starlock washer is facing up. Center the tubing and use a hammer to tap the Starlock in position. And remember, when the Starlock is in place, you cannot remove it without destroying it. Now it's time to add the handle. It has only two parts, the handle and the screw. Check again that the ridges are facing each other and make sure you know what's down on the door. This depends on if the door is left hinged or right hinged. When you're certain, push the handle in position with the handle facing down and screw it into place using the screw. Turn the handle down into the closed position. Then turn over the entire door to add the roller cam. You will need these three parts. The roller cam and two locking nuts. First, screw one locking nut in position. Then, before adding the roller cam, check the handle on the opposite side that it actually is in the closed position. 
and now add the roller cam facing out from the door in a 90 degree angle, also known as the locked position. Remember that you can easily increase the adjustment range of the roller cam by turning it before placing it onto the shaft. This way you can adjust the roller cam to fit an even wider range of H measurements. Finish off by tightening the second nut. Now check the function of the handle and roller cam. You can adjust the exact position of the roller cam by moving both nuts up or down the threaded shaft. Make sure that the loops of the handle and housing meet so that a padlock can be inserted through both loops. When all is well, add the screw cover by pushing it in position. And like the Starlock washer, this screw cover is not possible to remove without destroying it. So this concludes the installation of the acid proof padlocking Climaflex in a normal insulated door. Be proud of what you have accomplished. See you next time.